sport coverage of the 1992 World Individual Speedway Championship continues with the showing of one of the quarterfinals from Stavanger in Norway. The Algarna Stadium, to be precise, as the Danes, Swedes and Norwegians and Finns do business. That's we take a look at the track action in heat number one. We just show you the conditions, which is very, very wet indeed due to a morning's rain. And there we see Lars Gunnarstad bring down Tony Rickards and to be excluded from heat number one. We go straight into the action and join the restart of that opening race. So Peter Lee in red, Perry Johnson white and Tony Rickards from yellow and black, the only three remaining riders as they go into that first turn. Johnson just with his nose in front, Nolene in second place and Tony Rickards in back in third. And you wouldn't believe there was going to be any speedway with the amount of rain we've had this morning, but they're going to give it a try. Johnson still leads and Rickardson comes whizzing underneath Peter Nolene to get second place. So Johnson leads. The all Swedish battle now of heat number one, and it's Johnson who goes on to take the win. So heat number two, Tommy Crimson rides in red, Henkel Gustafsson blue, Gerd Hanberg in white, and Basta Elgenen from Finland is in yellow black. Heat number two. Up go the tapes, the bikes roar into that first turn, and Tommy K and Gerd Hanberg get out of the trap, and now Henrik Gustafsson comes into the fray, and down goes the Finn, Basta Elgenen and looks in a little bit of discomfort, to say the least. Let's take another look in slow motion, exactly what happened there. Down they go, Gustafsson just coming up the other side of Vasa Ilmanen and takes him out. The referee's decision is a restart with all four riders. So, a bit of luck there for Henrik Gustafsson. Perhaps a just coming up the inside is of Ilmanen from Finland. So it's Tommy Kay in red in gate number one. Tommy Knudsen on this from Denmark. Henrik Gustafsson, Sweden in blue, gate two. Gerd Hamburg, white from Denmark in gate three. And Basta Ehlenen from Finland, yellow, black, gate four. Restart, off heat, number two. 500cc, clutch starts, four laps on this very wet Algarda Stadium. As the tapes now go up again. Let's see what happens on this turn. Tommy Knudsen's got there yet again, and Hamburg's with him, and just look at Gustafsson drive right round the inside of all of them. Waiting for the pack to drift wide. And the old Swede done the business there. One lap gone and Henrik Gustafsson leads. Second place is Tommy Kay. Third place is Gerd Hamburg. In that order. But it's Henrik Gustafsson who has been seeded by the SFIMO, the governing body of Swedish Motor Federation, to this Nordic final after breaking his skate point in his wrist. Um, three to four weeks ago in a track accident in England. So it looks as though he's had no ill effects as he comes back from that crash at the first staging of heat number two. And he's in a commanding position and looking set for three points to open his quest. As only nine places are available for this round to go forward to the semi-final. Coming up to take the win, Hank Gustafsson gets here. Tommy Kay second and in third place for Hamburg. That's the result of heat number two. So the Swedish contingent very happy, I'm sure, with that race. Henrik Gustafsson doing very, very nicely indeed, especially in that first and second turn. So heat number three, which is John Jorgensen riding red for Denmark. Brian Karger, blue, also Denmark. Jon de Moxen from Finland, white. And Klaus Jakobsen from Denmark is in yellow and black. Well, two semi-finals in the World Championship this year. Bradford in England stages one, and the following week, Lina Neustadt in Austria stages the second. All looking for a place in the World Final 2, which goes to Poland in 1992. So, the green light goes on, the engines roar, the tapes rise, and it is Karger, Brian Karger has got the drop. <laughs> Jorgensen in second place, Jorna Moxerman in third for Finland, and Klaus Jakobsen left for dead at the moment. But it is Karger who leads, who's having, well, a new lease of life in England this season with Arena Essex in the Sunbright League Division 1. Second place, John Jorgensen. Well, well, a very disappointed season by his standards in 1991. I'm sure he's going to try and put that right. Is Klaus Jakobsen comes underneath Jona Moxman for third place. But Karga really is catching the eye here in the Algarna. Very wet, very slippery conditions. Gating is going to be all so important. One more up to go in heat number three. Brian Karga in blue lead from John Jorgensen red. Klaus Jakobsen in yellow and black. 
The round of follow two bands, and it's going to be three points for Carger. He gets there. Two points for the rider in red, John Jorgensen. And Klaus Jakobsen gets one point for finishing third. So Brian Carger joins Per Jonsson and Henrik Gustafsson as the winner of his first heat, and a good win too for the Danish rider. There he is, Brian Carger, his third Nordic final, having failed on his last two attempts to qualify further in the World Championship. So heat four, and there we see the three times world champion, Hans Nielsen, just back from a broken collarbone. He rides in red, Jimmy Nielsen blue from Sweden, Peter Ron white from Denmark, Einar Killingstad yellow back from Norway. This is heat number four. Up for the tapes, and the first one to show is Jimmy Nielsen and Hans Nielsen. Jimmy Nielsen just with his nose in front of Hans Nielsen. So, Jimmy Nielsen from Sweden leads. Hans Nielsen is second place, and who lost the rider in yellow and black is Einar Killingstad, he's down. Killingstad on the track looking, well, had a spell in England a few seasons back with Reading and Kings Lynn, but never really made it. He's been excluded from the restart of heat number four, so three riders only. Jimmy Nielsen is in blue, Hans Nielsen red, and Peter Ron is in white. So the referee having none of the nonsense, Einar Killingstad is out. Let's see if Jimmy Nelson can get to the front again in the restart. Pete number four. Oh, going into that first turn, and Jimmy Nelson's got the job again, but Peter Ron trying to come around the outside of him, and Hans Nielsen comes up the inside. So now Peter Ron leads, Hans Nielsen second, Jimmy Nelson third. Peter Ron having a little bit of difficulty with conditions. Hans Nielsen, as we told you, coming back from a broken collar. Oh, Peter Ron's down. Oh, it takes a nasty tumble. Peter Ron's down in some discomfort on that one. We just see the innocent looking fall when he slides away from his machine. We keep our fingers crossed that Peter will be okay. He looks in some discomfort on the fence here at the Algarna Stadium and it's, uh, it's one of those days where it's stopped raining but the morning's rain here in Norway has uh, made track conditions very, very slippery indeed. He's taken an ambulance ride uh, back to the St John's room or the Norwegian equivalent. That's something we don't like to see in any motorsport all around the world. But uh, Peter's one of those butlers. They breed them tough in Denmark, and they don't come any tougher than Peter on. So he's another one that's going to be excluded by today's referee. But no doubt Peter will be more hopeful that he can continue in this historic final. So two riders only for the third staging. Just Jimmy Nielsen blue and Hans Nielsen in white, in red, shall I say, as they go away from the starts. Let's see if it's third time lucky. Jimmy Nielsen's got the draw. So Jimmy Nielsen leads. Hans Nielsen second. And uh, Jimmy was a little bit lucky last about because he was in third place when the race was stopped, but he was in first place on the first staging. So perhaps that's done it. And Jimmy Nielsen goes on to get three good points in the restaging of the number four. So he, number five in this Nordic Speedway Championship. You see Anna Killingstad in red, Peter Nolly in blue, Tommy Knudsen in white, and Jonah Moxerman in yellow and black as they whiz from the start. And Tommy K gets a dream from gate three. Tommy Knudsen lead. Peter Nolly in second place. There's old Tommy Knudsen who, you may recall, had a run off for that bronze medal in the ULB Stadium in Gothenburg last season in the World Final itself. Just losing out to Hans Nielsen on that occasion. Peter Nolly in second place. Ida Killingstad in third. So Knudsen looking good for some more points. Got a two, first time out. So three here were doing very, very nicely indeed. Nolly scored one in heat number one. So he's looking to get amongst it. And he just doesn't want to make any mistakes so early on in the Nordic final. The last time that the screen sport cameras were in the Algarna Stadium, was for the Nordic final four years ago when Hans Nielsen won on that occasion with a 50 point maximum. He's already dropped one point, so he's not going to do that on this occasion. But in heat number five, it's a win for Tommy Knudsen. He gets the three points. Peter Marlene from Sweden gets two. And Ina Killingstad from Norway gets one. That's the result of heat number five. So heat number six is next one up, which sees Jimmy Nielsen, John Jorgensen, Lars Gunnestad, who the four are excluded first time out, <coughs> and Gert Hamburg. So Jimmy Nielsen, red gate one, John Jorgensen, blue gate two, Lars Gunnestad, white gate three, and Gert Hamburg on the outside in yellow and black. 
and they race from the start of the first to show is John Jorgensen. Jorgensen and Jimmy Nelson, and Nelson cuts up the inside. Jimmy Nelson from Sweden leads from John Jorgensen second. Lars Goodison third, and Gert Hamburg fourth. One lap gone. So gating is going to be all so important, but there is that element of surprise that you can catch your opponent out on when he makes a mistake or drifts a bit wide or loses control. And we've seen that happen once or twice already in the first six races here in the Elgarna. But Jimmy Nielsen, oh, just look at Gert Hamburg lift and lose control completely of his machine. Gert Hamburg from Dammer, let's take another look in slow-mo at that one. Up goes the front wheel, no control from that moment on, just let go of the machine and bail out is what Gerd Hamburg does. And it's obviously excluded from the restart of peak number six. So three riders only, Jimmy Nielsen red, John Jorgensen blue, and Lars Gunnarsson yellow black. Restart of peak six. So, the first one is John Jorgensen in pole position, coming round in white, Lars Gunnarsson now takes second place, and Jimmy Nielsen really has and just a little bit of bad luck here in the Algarve so far. So many restarts for him. But John Jorgensen, who's having a, a new lease of life in 1992, leads. Jimmy Nelson trying to come out the inside. And these two riders clashed in Tampara, Finland in 1989 in the Nordic final. A race which I personally recall, which cost Jimmy Nelson dearly on that occasion. But it looks as though Gunnarstad's going to just get the drop on the Swede on this occasion. John Jorgensen rides for Coventry in the Sun Right League. Still ease from John Jorgensen from Lars Gunnarstad in second place, who's about to join the Paul Pirates. Jimmy Nelson is now with Swindon. And coming around to get a very, very good win indeed is John Jorgensen who gets there. Lars Gunnarstad in second place. And Jimmy Nelson, the leader on the first stage, who has to be content with one point only in the restart of beat number six. So three points to Denmark's John Jorgensen, looking very good and very useful as John too this afternoon. Two points to Lars Gunnarsson and one to Jimmy Nielsen. Pete Seven and Brian Cargott rise in red. Hans Nielsen is in blue, both of Denmark. Henrik Gustafsson is in white and Per Jonsson yellow and black. Pete number seven. And the first one to show is Brian Cargott. Cargott is early. Hans Nielsen second. Henrik Gustafsson comes around Hans Nielsen. Per Jonsson is in fourth place at the moment. But it's Brian Carger who's fed as the tanks rose. So Carger leads. Henk Gustafsson second. Hans Nielsen third. And Perry. Oh, down goes Gustafsson. Exactly the same position as Gerd Hamburg fell in the previous race. And conditions and weather. Let's take another look at the old slow mo. And it's just the same thing that happened to Gerd Hamburg in the previous race. And for Henrik Gustafsson's sake, it was just glad that the two riders behind him, Hans Nielsen and Perry Jonsson, were well behind and didn't hurt him on that occasion. So there we see Hendrik's father coming back and having a few words about what happened there. The track conditions causing a lot of problems for all the riders, but it's fame for all 16. So Gustafsson excluded. It's Cargo Red, Nielsen Blue, Jonsson Yellow Black. Up on the tape, the engines roar. And yet again, it's Cargo who makes a dream start. Jonsson comes up the inside of Hans Nielsen, but doesn't do it. Brian Carger is looking like a man possessed. As I've already told you, he's his third appearance in a Scandinavian final. He fell out of the championship in Tampere on his first occasion in 89, and then lost in a dramatic runoff for a final place in Linköping in 1990 to Dennis Lufkvist of Sweden. A last done manoeuvre by Lufkvist gained in that place. So is Brian Carger now going to stake his name in the semi-finals of the World Championship. He's looking very, very powerful here in the Algarna. Cargill leads, Hans Nielsen second, the Perry Johnson third with one more lap to go. And the racing, although wet and although a gator is paradise to some extent, there is room for the stakes and the riders that are making them are providing us with some action. Cargill gets the win though and three points. Hans Nielsen has to be content with two points. And the former world champion from Sweden, Per Jonsson, has one point for finishing in third place. Congratulations to Brian Carger for winning heat number seven. So heat number eight, Tony Ricardson rides in red. Vasa Elnen, gladly OK from his accident. He's in blue. Gate number two, Klaus Jakobsen, white, Denmark, gate three. And Jorgen Johansson.
comes in to replace the injured Peter Ron in yellow and black. This is seat number eight. Green light goes on. Up for the tape. Sat into that turn they roar. Rickardson and Klaus Jakobsen, but Rickardson has just got the drop. Jakobsen, Klaus Jakobsen was there, but just didn't have the power that Rickardson has. Tony Rickardson, who had such a fabulous year in 1991, topped, of course, by that appearance in the Ulity Stadium where he gained that second place to Jero Peterson, who, of course, is out of the World Championship at Rada Speedway for at least a year with that back injury sustained about three weeks ago. And if you are listening, Yano, everybody at Screen Sport, we wish you a speedy recovery. We do hope to see you on a speedway bike again in the near future. But it is Tony Rickardson who leads heat number eight with one more lap to go. Second place is Klaus Jakobsen. Valsa Eldenen from Norway, from Finland, should I say, is third. But round the final two bounds, there's no mistake, and he's going to get three points. Coming up to take the win, it's Tony Rickardson who gets there. Klaus Jakobsen from Denmark gets a two points for finishing second. And Vasa Elnenen from Finland gets one point for finishing third. So all the riders now in the Nordic final of 1992 have had two outings, two rides each. Karger on six points and unbeaten is leading. Knudsen, Tommy Knudsen, Tony to Rickardsen, John Jorgensen all on five, and then Jonsson, Nielsen, and Nielsen on four. Nolly Gustafsson Jakobsen on three. Join us for more Speedway at four. Clyde Fisher welcoming you back to the Algarna Stadium in Norway for number nine of the Nordic Speedway final. Gert Hamburg in red, Art Forlund coming in in blue. We do hear from the track doctor that Peter Ron is having problems with his wrist, so let's keep our fingers crossed it's not too badly damaged. So Gert Hamburg rides in red, Art Forlund from Norway comes in for a reserve outing in blue. Peter Nolene rides in white from Sweden, and Brian Karger, the only unbeaten rider, rides in yellow and black. This is heat number nine. Just to recap, only nine places available. The 16 competitors go forward to the two semi-finals of the World Championship in 1992. So heat number nine then gets underway. Let's see who's the first one to show. And it is the rider in blue, Art Ford, and Peter Nolly goes down the outside of him. Nolly has got the drop. Coming through to second place is Gert Hamburg. Brian Carter driving around Hamburg as well. So Nolly leads. Brian Carter in second place now. Third place is Gert Hamburg. But Peter Nolly, the cowboy from Eskilstuna in Sweden, is coming back amongst the fray. So far, got three points. This would give him six at the interval stage. Brian Carger looks set now to drop his first point of the Scandinavian finals. Hamburg comes up to Lumpside to join in. Gerd Hamburg now takes second place from Brian Carger. A good ride from the Tony Dane, who rides for Craig Lee in England, but Carger's back on it. Oh, this is one hell of a scrap for minor places. Carger's back to second place. Peter Nolene in first place, not aware of what's going on behind. Oh, Brian Carger locks it up, and Gert Hamburg comes through to take second place. So that was really one hell of a speedway race. Peter Nolene gets the three points, Gert Hamburg gets two, and Brian Carger gets one. Great race in heat number nine. Heat number 10, Klaus Jakobsen rides in red. Tommy Knudsen in blue, Hans Nielsen white, and Lars Gunnarstad in yellow and black. Heat number 10 of the Nordic final 1992, when points mean prizes, and the prize is a semi-final place in the World Championship for the top nine, and it's Tommy Knudsen who leads. Coming around the outside, Lars Gunnarstad, Hans Nielsen having problems in his back in third place. So Hans Nielsen so far with only four points to his name, and now in third place in heat number 10, and it is Tommy Knudsen, his fellow countryman who leads. Lars Gunnarstad in second place, and Tommy K doing very, very nicely. Already on five, and we'll go into the interval stage on eight points. If he can just hold on, Lars Gunnarstad needs a point. Hans Nielsen is, well, not looking his old self, it's fair to say. And we have to stick up for him by saying that he, he's just come back from a, a broken collarbone, but so is Henrik Gustafsson. He's come back from an injury as well. So. It's all about being on some at the right time in World Championships. There's no doubt whatsoever about that. But Tommy Kay coming round in his charisma style to take the win in heat number 10 just from Lars Gunnarsson in second place and Hans Nielsen in third. So three points for Tommy Knudsen, two points for Lars Gunnarsson, 
and Sealson has to be content with one point. So Tommy Kay goes in at the interval stage on eight points here on the Algarve in Norway for the Scandinavian final. We move on to eight number 11, which sees Vasa Ilnen in red, Jorn Moxman in blue, Per Jonsson white, and Jimmy Nilsson in yellow and black. <coughs> the engines roar. Starter Marshall just waves Jonsson in a bit closer. Green lights on, the tapes rise. Those engines roar to that turn. And it's Jonsson who's got the drop. Jonsson and Jimmy Nilsson coming around the outside to join him. Jonsson's there, Nilsson second. Uh, well, you wouldn't put much money on these two, being in first and second position. Third place is Lasse Eldenen from Finland, but it's Per Jonsson who leads. Jimmy Nilsson in second, and Per Jonsson looks in control of heat number 11. Heat number 12, and there we see Einar Killingstad coming out in gate number one in red. Tony Rickardson is in blue. Jorgen Johansson coming in to replace John Jorgensen, excluded for touching the tapes. And Henrik Gustafsson in yellow and black as the bikes roar. And it's Einar Killingstad who's got the drop. Killingstad is there in red, leads. Second place in blue, Tony Carson, Henrik Gustafsson is not having life on his own way as he's back in third place at the moment. So Einar Killingstad, of course, on his home track here in the Old Garden Stadium in Norway. And I'm sure we did like to give the 2,000 crowd here something to cheer about on one of those Norwegian days we would best like to forget otherwise. Find a killing stat lead. Tony Orkartsen in second place. Henk Augustusson third. And Jorgen Johansson back in fourth place. But Ina killing stat has just got a bit between his teeth and this will be a great scalp over Tony Rickardson. Mr. Carson gets closer now. Down the back straight for the final time, but Arna Killingstad is goes oh, every inch of the way around this Algarve circuit. But can he hold on as it comes up to the end? It's Killingstad against there. Rickardson is in second place, and Gustafsson has to be content with third position. So three points to Killingstad, two to Rickardson, and one to Gustafsson. Now all the riders have had three outings. Tommy Knudsen leads the pack, just dropped one point on eight points. Three riders on seven, Brian Carger, Tony Rickardson, and Per Jonsson. Jimmy Nielsen and Peter Nalini from Sweden on six. John Jorgensen and Hans Nielsen on five. Gunnarstad, Gustafsson and Killingstad all on five points. So very, very close indeed. Let's have a few words then with the former world champion Hans Nielsen on his thoughts on the track conditions here at the Algarve. The track looks pretty difficult from up here anyway. It is difficult, uh, particularly at first there's a few grooves and, uh, you know, it, it starts, it's, or a little tricky, very, very wet, and it's, you know, you're not quite sure whether it's going to grip or whether it's going to spin, and, uh, and it's caught me a little so yeah. far, and, uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, hopefully we'll uh, pick up a few more points. Well, I mean, you seem to be able to handle it, but a lot of the young riders seems to be using too much throttle. Well, if you've been gambling a bit out there, you know, obviously I've been sort of trying to uh, ride after conditions, as you've seen, uh, there's a few grooves, and all of a sudden it picks up, and, and riders come up, and, uh, you know, we've got to obviously try and ride a, a little bit, uh, after the conditions, but on the other hand, it's important even everybody want to qualify and everybody uh, rides out. Johannes Nielsen on five points at the end of the stage, but let's have a few words for the Swedish team manager, Bo Verban. He must be very happy with his riders so far. I think I win this race. I think we should have had all four, all five Swedish riders through from the meeting. Well, that is what you want. You think, I mean, is that what you expect them to do? Yeah, of course, and uh, I want to see uh, all five Swedish uh, riders at the semi-final, and uh, uh, if we are through to the semi-final, I think we can have them in the final too. So we move on to heat number 13 and let's see if Bo Verran's prediction is right. Henrik Gustafsson rides in red, Klaus Jakobsen in blue, Jimmy Nelson white and Peter Norlin is in yellow and black. This is heat number 13, the interval stage now over in the Algarna. The cups of tea have been put away. Let's see what happens then in the second half of this Scandinavian Speedway final where all the riders are closely back together for those nine qualification places. Up go the tapes and the bikes are into that first turn and it's Jimmy Nielsen and Henrik Gustafsson. Gustafsson on the inside of Jimmy Nielsen. So Gustafsson there, Jimmy Nielsen second, Peter Nolene in third place. Klaus Jakobsen back and forth. So the Battle of the Swedes has materialised. It's just what Bo Verbrand had predicted. Gustafsson who was struggling just a little bit with four points only at the end of the stage. Peter Nolene on six. 
and Jimmy Nielsen on six as well. So Gustafsson, it was essential that he tried to get the three points out of this one. And well, perhaps the Swedes are just working together as a team, which is what it's all about. One more lap to go in heat 13. It's all about getting a maximum amount of riders through to that semi-final. And down goes the rider in blue, Klaus Jakobsen. We remember seeing that, of course, in Finland, Tampere, back in 1989 when the Danes done it. So no disrespect to the Swedes on this occasion. It's Gustafsson gets the three points. Two to Jimmy Nielsen in second place. And Peter Nolene gets one for finishing in third place. So Henrik Gustafsson, he wins heat number 13 and he's back in the fray in the Scandinavian Speedway final of 1992. Heat 14, Lars Gunnarstad rides in red. Ina Killingstad rides in blue. Vasa Eldenen rides in white. And Brian Carger, the surprise merchant so far in yellow black in heat number 14. So there we see Carger on seven, Gunnarstad and Killingstad on four, and Eldenen from Finland on two. And Carger really, a couple of points would wrap up things for him here in heat number 14. Up to the tapes, and the way those bikes go, the first to show is the Rado Blue on the Killingstad. Killingstad leads, Karger coming around the outside of Gunnarstad. So Karger is in second place, Gunnarstad third. And Vasa Elnan, on oh, and down he slides gracefully to the track. But the three other riders carry on with the proceedings in heat 14. Ian the Killingstad leads, Karger second, Lars Gunnarstad third. And these points would put Brian Carger through to the semis. Brian Carger already on 7.9 would be enough, I would think, to put him through in second place. But he would dearly like a few more and get on the roster, I'm sure of that. One more lap to go. Killingstad leads. Either Killingstad from Norway in the crowd are getting a little bit pleased with his progression. Either Killingstad on four points. This would give him seven. Comes round to take the win. It's Ina Killingstad that gets here. Second place for Brian Carger. And uh, Lars Gunnarstad back in third place. So Killingstad moves on to seven points. Brian Carger on nine. And Lars Gunnarstad is in third place. He gets the solitary point. We move on to heat 15. Art Forland from Norway comes in for reserve ride to replace the injured Peter Vaughan. Per Jonsson in blue from Sweden. John Jorgensen, Denmark in white. Tommy Knudsen. Denmark, yellow black. This is heat 50. And the engines roll into that first turn, and Nilsson's got there. The smooth style of Perry Johnson. Tommy Knudsen nearly, nearly locks up and loses ground back in third place. So Perry Johnson leaves. John Jorgensen second. Tommy Knudsen third. And Johnson looks in good style. So heat number 16. Jörg Kamuxen from Finland rides in red. Gert Hanberg is in blue. Tony Rickardson rides in white. And Hans Nielsen is in yellow black. Hans Nielsen on five points. And as do we say, just slightly struggling here in the Algarna in the Scandinavian Speedway final. So, points mean prizes. Only nine of these riders going forward to the semi final. This is heat number 16. And away they go from the start. Let's see who it is who gets there. Rider in blue, Gerd Hamburg leads. Hans Nielsen coming around the outside of him in yellow and black. And Tony Rickardson coming underneath. Hans Nielsen drives underneath. Hans Nielsen, and Nielsen now back in third place. And this is something very, very interesting. Are we in for somewhat of a surprise here in the Algarna? Hamburg leads from Denmark. Rickardson, Sweden second. Hans Nielsen, Denmark third. Moxman, Finland fourth. And it's fair to say that Tony Rickardson currently on seven points these two would well put him one way there i should think he's got one hand on a semi-final place gerd hamburg is having a very very good deed indeed he's on six at the moment but it's all about the man who's back in third place that's hans nielsen but as they come up to take the win it's going to be the rider in blue gerd hamburg who gets six points tremendous he's uh, looking pretty good at the moment so he gets three points for winning heat number 16. Second place is Tommy, Tony Rickards, and he gets two, and Hans Nielsen one, four in third place. So the scoreboard then, Per Jonsson on 10 points from Sweden in pole position. Three riders on nine, Karger, Rickards, and Knudsen. Jimmy Nielsen on nine, on eight, should I say, and four on seven, Narlene, Jorgensen, Gustafsson, and Killingstad. Very close. Join us for more Speedway from the Algarna after the break. 
So welcome back to the Algona Stadium in Norway, where heat number 17 is vital for this fella, Hans Nielsen, on his further progression in the World Championships. We didn't think we'd be saying this about the former three times world champion, but he needs to win heat number 17 to progress further to the semi-finals or have any chance of doing that. The pressure is on for probably the first time in his career. The lineup for heat 17 is Peter Nolene, red, Vasa Elmanen from Finland, blue, Hans Nielsen, white, and John Jorgensen in yellow and black. Nolene and Jorgensen both on seven, Hans Nielsen on six, and it's very, very close on the points for the minor places here in the Algarve. As we go in heat number 17, and the engines roar, and Nolene has got the drop. Peter Nolene leads, John Jorgensen, yellow and black, coming round the outside of him. John Jorgensen flies past Peter Nolene. So John Jorgensen leads. Nolene is second. Basil Elnenen is in third, and Hans Hilsen is in fourth place. And this now surely means, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that Hans Nielsen is out of the World Championship in 1992. And this really has been one of the most up biggest upsets in the Speedway calendar for a long, long time. Jorgensen still leads. Nolene second, Elnenen third, and Hans Nielsen trailing off in fourth position. One more up to go in what has surely been the sensation of the World Championship. On a very damp, on a very wet, and a very windy Algarve Stadium, Hans Nielsen's World Championship dreams for 1992 come to an end. It's Jorgensen wins heat 17. Second place, Peter Nolene. Third place, Vatan Elnenen. And there, Hans Nielsen is out of the World Championship of 1992, having come home in fourth position. So, the biggest major upset of the championship so far is John Jorgensen and Peter Lane shake hands for finishing first and second, respectively. But a lot of talking, no, no doubt, to go on on the failure of Hans Nielsen here in Norway on Sunday, June the 14th. So, heat number 18, Jona Moxeman reads right in red, Lars Gunnarsson blue, Henk Augustusson white, and Jorgen Johansson coming in for reserve outings, replace the injured Peter Wrong in yellow and black. Gustafsson needs points, and so does Gunnarstad. It's going to be very important, this one. Up go the tapes, into that turn, and it's Gunnarstad who's got the draw. Gunnarstad leads. Lars Gunnarstad leads. Henrik Gustafsson in second place. So if Gustafsson can stay in second place now, he will finish the proceedings here on nine points, the same as Peter Nolene. And it's getting very, very close for the lower order of point score here in the Algarve. Very close indeed for just the nine places going through. Lars Gunnarstad, he will finish on eight points if he can stay out of trouble. And we have to wait and see what happens in the final two races to see if that's going to be enough. Lars Gunnarstad leads. Still in second place is Henrik Gustafsson. Jorgen Johansson back in third place. But Lars Gunnarstad going to end proceedings here for him in the Algarve with a win. It's his first win of the afternoon. And he will finish on eight points, and Henrik Gustafsson on nine. There's a come up to take the flag. It's Gunnarsson who wins. Gustafsson in second place, and Jorgen Johansson back in third. That's the result of peak number 18. Now, as Gunnarsson just says, I'll do a wheelie to play to the gallery here in the Algarve, just to brighten up the ceilings on a damp day, and who can blame it? But we have to wait and see whether that's going to be good enough to take large Gunnarsson through to the semi final. So, heat number 19, Per Jonsson comes in the gate number one in red. He's currently on 10 points, and I'm think assured of the place in the semi-final. Klaus Jakobsen is in blue, Einar Killingstad white, and Gert Hamburg is in yellow. Jonsson 10, Jakobsen 3, Killingstad 7 and Hamburg 6, so Killingstad and Hamburg desperately need the points in this one. Let's see what happens as the tapes rise on the penultimate racer. I'm sure we're going to be in for some runoffs here in the old order. Up for the tapes, the engines roar, and the first one to show is the rider white on a killing stand. Killing Stadley's Jonsson and Hanberg. Hanberg now going around the outside of Killing Stad. Jonsson goes out very wide, tries to make up ground. So it's Hanberg that leads. Killing Stad in second place. Jonsson in third. Klaus Jakobsen back in fourth. Jonsson in third place. Is he trying to put pressure on a killing stand? Gerd Hamburg unaware of what's going on, and now Janssen comes through to second place on Killingstad. So Janssen, Per Janssen through to second place. Gerd Hamburg is in first. Can Janssen catch him up? Hamburg leads. Janssen second. 
killing Sam third, one more up to go in heat number 19. Hamburg leads, Johnson second. And oh, Johnson looks dead at his machine as it splutters to a halt. Has he got room to coast round for a point as we come up to take the win? It's Hamburg that wins. Killing Stan in second place. And Jonsson can't even drift round for third place. So Perry Jonsson ends up on ten points. But Gerd Hamburg, he gets three points and a good win for him. He was in that position when it was stopped, or when Jonsson stopped anyway. So a good win for Gerd Hamburg, who ends up on nine points. Another one on nine points as we move on to heat number 20. Tommy Knudsen in red, Jimmy Nielsen blue, Brian Carger in white, and Tony Ricardson in yellow and black. And just look, three riders on nine points and one on eight. And the old scoreboard's going to need some ticket out and some shorty out after this one to see just what happens before we know what nine will go through to that semi-final. This, ladies and gentlemen, is heat 20. And the way they go from the start, and the first one to show is Brian Carter in white. Carter in white leads, Jimmy Nielsen on the inside in blue. Carter in white leads. Tony Ricardson comes out the outside of him, superb style. Ricardson now takes the lead from Brian Carter. Jimmy Nielsen now comes through to join in. Carter has been put under some tremendous pressure by the two Swedes in his box state. So Ricardson leads, and just a little bit of crafty tactics by the Swede. Gets his fellow countryman Jimmy Nielsen through to join him. Brian Carger is now back in third place and Tommy Kay in fourth. And the Swedes, well, tactics to what all of it is all about. And it's about getting places in that semi-final. And it looks as though Tony Ricardson had that on his mind as he drove around the outside of Brian Carger. And some unusual tactics to say the least, and I'll say no more. As Ricardson comes round to take the win in heat 20. Tony Ricardson wins! Second place for Jimmy Nielsen and third place for Brian Carger. So Brian Carger ends up on 10 points along with a few other riders as well. Perry Johnson's on 10 and so is Jimmy Nielsen. So is John Jorgensen. We've got a lot of riders on 10 points, but Tony Rickardson is the only out and out winner. He's the Nordic champion of 1992. So, with that in mind, as the riders go on to the centre circle to have their machines examined by the FIM, we'll draw the conclusion to this one after the break. So, welcome back to the Algarna Stadium here in Norway, with the only thing is certain, who is champion of the Nordic in 1992, right, Tony, Tony Ricardson. Uh, now a very, very laid-back position. You can stand there and watch the, all the reruns. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's very good. You just can stand and have a look on all the heats, the rest of the heats, and just... Uh, have a bit of a laugh and maybe go back to the hotel and have a good rest. Yeah, but you you would want your other guys to come along, wouldn't you? Yeah, of course, you know, I, I love to have Henke and all the other Peter and Arlene with me, you know, it's great if it could be a few more, especially in qualifications, you know, and uh, like uh, Henke and Peter, they, they should be through. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. So now we go into four qualification heats to see who ends up in position 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th. Is five riders finished on nine points here in the Algarna. Heat number 21, Henrik Gustafsson rides in red, Peter Nolly in blue, and Tommy Knudsen in white. So these three riders all ended up on nine points, along with Einar Killingstad and Gerd Hamburg. So very complicated, but we'll keep you informed. This is heat number 21, and only one rider will be very disappointed at the end of these four races. He will be eliminated on be the reserve that goes forward to the semi-finals. And Peter Nolene leads heat number 21 from Henrik Gustafsson, from Tommy Kay back in third place. So Nolene leads, Gustafsson in second place. Tommy Kay third, one lap gone in heat 21. Peter Nolene looks over his shoulder, Gustafsson comes up and takes the inside on him. Peter Nolene drifts out a little bit wide, come back to... Gustafsson goes through to take the lead. Nolene is on the outside and he really can't afford to make any mistakes because Tommy Knudsen is now getting very, very close. One more up to go in heat 21. Four heats to eliminate one rider here. That's how difficult it's become in the Scandinavian final. Positions six, seven, eight, and nine, and 10 at stake in these four heats. It's Peter Nolene now comes under pressure from Tommy Kay, but holds on. So it's Henrik Gustafsson who gets the win. Peter Nolene in second place, and Tommy Knudsen back in third place. So that's the result of heat number 21. 
As I say, five riders all ending up on nine points. Henry Gustafsson, Peter Nolin, Tommy Knudsen, and Gert Hamburg and Einar Killingstad. So the other two, Gert Hamburg is in blue and Einar Killingstad is in yellow and black. This is heat 22. They go into the first turn and Gert Hamburg in blue leads from Einar Killingstad in yellow and black. So Gert Hamburg from Denmark leads Killingstad from Norway. And Hamburg, who it is, in true commanding style, who looks set for three points in heat number 22. Hamburg leads, killing Sad back in second place. So heat number 23, and the man who finishes in third position in this one will be eliminated from the Nordic final. That's how drastic it's become. Peter Lolly in rides in blue, Ina Killingstad in white, and Tommy Knudsen in yellow and black. As the tapes rise on this one, heat number 23, and it is Tommy Knudsen who leads. Peter Lolly in blue in second place, Ina Killingstad in white. Knudsen leads from Denmark. Killingstad coming round the outside of Peter Lolly. Lolly back in second place, and the action really has been fast and furious as Killingstad comes through to take second place from Peter Lolly. So, Tommy Knudsen leads. Ina Killingstad in second place, and if Nolene finishes third, it will mean he will go into the draw as reserve for the semi-finals from the Nordic final. Killingstad in second place. This will assure him of a place in the top nine, and Norway's lovely representative. One more up to go in E23. Tommy Knudsen leads. This will put him through. Just took a pin and all in, making a ground. It's the final two moments of each 23. And they're killing Sad White. Peter Nolene in blue coming up, but it's just killing Sad who holds on. And Peter Nolene from Sweden holds his head down as he knows he will now go into the draw for reserve only. Tommy Knudsen is assured, so is Ina Killing Sad, and Peter Nolene is the faller and finishes in 10th place. So heat 24, Tommy Knudsen in red, Hayen Gert Hamburg in blue, Henry Gustafsson in white, and Ina Killingstad in yellow and black. And this is for the positions of 6th, 7th, 8th and 9th in the Scandinavian Speedway Front. All four go through to the semi-final, so this is purely for positions. Up for the tape, the engines roar, the bikes run into that first turn, and it's yellow and black, Ina Killingstad in leads. And Killingstad having a new lease of life here in the Algarve Stadium. Second place is Gerd Hamburg, Tommy Knudsen third, and Henrik Gustafs, who I'm sure is not too concerned about what position he finishes in. Coming back from that broken skate point, that's the bone in the wrist for the... Oh, and Killingstad breaks down what he's leading, so tough luck on the Norwegian, but he's done enough to finish in ninth position here in the Scandinavian final. So... We're still going in heat 24. Gerd Hamburg leads, Tommy Knudsen second, and Henrik Gustafsson third. With one more lap to go in heat 24. Gerd Hamburg, if he can stay out of trouble, he will finish in sixth place. Seventh will go to Tommy Knudsen, eighth to Henrik Gustafsson, and Euler Killingstad will finish in ninth, although he's got engine failure. There it is, it's Gerd Hamburg who wins and finishes the Nordic final in sixth place. Tommy Knudsen finishes second, he's in seventh position. Henrik Gustafsson finishes third, he's in eighth. Nine Achilles had to engine problems. He finishes in the ninth final qualifying place to go forward to the semi-finals. Now we have a runoff for the silver and bronze medal position in the Nordic Championship. We already know that the winner is Tony Rickardson from Sweden. But we have four riders for this sudden death for silver and bronze and fourth and fifth position. John Jorgensen in red. Brian Carger, blue, both of Denmark. Jimmy Nielsen, white. Per Jonsson, yellow, black, both from Sweden. This could be, in the words of Bjorn Shirley, a real cracker. This is C25. Up go the tapes. Per Jonsson it is, and Brian Carger. Jonsson in yellow, black, leads. Carger in blue in second place. But Per Jonsson leads from Brian Carger. Third place at the moment is... John Jorgensen and Jimmy Nielsen is back in fourth position, and I'm sure he's not too concerned about that. So Per Jonsson, yellow black, from Sweden, former world speedway champion back in 1990, 
He leads Brian Carger, who's had such a tremendous afternoon here in the Old Garden. He will end up in third position. So let's take a look then. If Per Jonsson can stay out of trouble, he will be in second position in the Norwich final. Brian Carger in second position here with one more lap to go. He will finish in third place. John Jorgensen in third position here. He will finish fourth. And Jimmy Nielsen, who failing to score, will finish in fifth position. So right up to take the flag is Per Jonsson that wins the runoff for minor positions to get silver medal here in Algarna. And Brian Carger, who gets a bronze medal in the Nordic final of 1992. So it's been all action. We hope we haven't bored you too much with the eliminations of the minor places, but it was a little bit complicated, but we tried our best. But what we can tell you is the nine qualifiers that now go forward to the semi-finals of the World Championship. We know that Tony Rickardson is in pole position on 12 points. We know that Per, possession, per Jonsson is second on 10. We know that Brian Carger is third on 10 points. We also know that in fourth position is John Jorgensen also on 10 and Jimmy Nielsen in fifth position also on 10 as well. So in sixth position, Gert Hamburg on nine, seven is Tommy Knudsen also on nine, Henrik Gustafsson on nine and Anna Killingstad on nine. So four Danes, four Swedes and one Norwegian are the qualifiers from this Nordic final here in the Algarna Stadium. And Peter Nolene from Sweden will go into the hat as the reserve from this Nordic final. So congratulations to all that's taken part and commiserations and the big shock on Hans Nielsen uh, who has failed to make it through. And that really has been the big shock here in the Algarna. Peter Nolene, there we see the reserve. Lars Gunnarstad also a bit of a shock on home territory on eight points. Hans Nielsen six. Klaus Jakobsen four, Vassa Ilnanen on three, Jorna Moxima failed to score, and Peter Ron, who we do heard, has gone to hospital to have an X-ray, 